Melbourne, a city where a haircut can make up over 80% of someone's personality. <laughs> Melbourne is the cultural heart of Australia, in the same way that a turd is the heart of a turd sandwich. <laughs> Unless you love traffic, overpriced food and a public transport system from the 1970s, then Melbourne's not the place for you. So whatever you do, don't come here. Tonight on Go Away, I'll show you why. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> If you enjoy being stuck in a confined space with people you don't know, trams are a great way to get around. Melbourne got rid of its tram inspectors years ago, which means all trams are now free. <laughs> Turns out they still do have tram inspectors. <laughs> Melbourne is the sporting capital of the world. If by world, you mean Victoria. Yeah! Melbourne is controlled by a brutal warlord named Eddie Maguire. He rules this city with an iron fist. He governs a system of warring gangs associated with the bizarre cult known as the AFL. If you are wearing the wrong coloured scarf, your life is in genuine danger. Mate. <laughs> Eddie McGuire wouldn't let me on his radio show, so I had to make do with the voice of Melbourne, Tom Elliott. Tom Gleeson, good afternoon. Oh, thanks for having me, Tom. What's Go Away all about? It's a travel show where I travel around Australia and I warn people about shitholes they should never visit, and uh, this week I'm doing Melbourne. Wait a minute, you, you want to say Melbourne is a place that people should not visit? Yeah, well, it doesn't have any views. It's very flat, no harbour, no beaches. The only thing you can stare into is your own existential angst. You say we haven't got beaches, we've got the penguins walking up at Phillip Island every night. That's a mud flat. Bus loads full of tourists going down the Great Ocean Road. Tram loads of people going where they don't want to go. People love the trams. A tram is just a bus with no options. <laughs> Desperate for a view, I visited the coast. Welcome to the biggest joke in Melbourne, St Kilda Beach. The beach is home to a wide variety of marine life, including plastic bags, dirty nappies and faecal bacteria. <laughs> Melbourne is one of the easiest airports to get to. And once you've arrived, you'll immediately feel like a local because there's no train link to the city. So you can sit in traffic for hours, just like all the no-hopers that live here. <laughs> After your four-hour journey through traffic from the airport, the first thing you'll see is the Melbourne Star Observation Wheel. The wheel is built on reclaimed land and yet to be reclaimed by tourists. One revolution takes an hour, so you have plenty of time to take in the majestic view of the traffic jam you've just escaped. <laughs> the wheel is open 365 days a year, unless it's broken, which happens pretty regularly, sometimes when people are on it. So pack a lunch and something to piss in. <laughs> Melbourne's laneways are so dreary to look at, public vandalism is considered an improvement. There are hidden gems all over Melbourne. Some of the best cafes and restaurants are hidden behind closed doors in even the quietest of places. Let's take a look. <laughs> Great wine bar, mate. <laughs> you can't come to Melbourne without trying their signature drink, coffee. Melbourne's coffee has to be good to distract you from the full body agony of sitting on milk crates. <laughs> oh, hey, where are your toilets? Sorry, mate, we don't have any. Oh, you just punched four shots of coffee into me. Now I'm going to shit myself because you're too cool to have a toilet. <laughs> So there you have it. Melbourne would be a great place to see if it hadn't disappeared up its own ass. So when a Victorian tells you for the hundredth time that Melbourne is the world's most livable city, tell them to go away. I ordered a beer. <laughs>